for, but it prints the name of the race, okay, for each contest and then who they voted for. All right, this is our standard 14 inch card. We can do a 17 and 19. Um, you know, we can mess with the font size and the kerning. Yeah, well, let's face it. I think we took one of your famous like seven page ballots and we got it on one card. Because, um, you know, what Ohio's famous for are these lovely state issues that will take up, you know, darn near the front side of the whole ballot, where in reality this would just say state issue one, yes, no, for, against, whatever the case may be. So it's not taking up a tremendous amount of um, space on the card itself. So, yes, you do. Let's say that it doesn't fit, you know. Then what happens? We have the ability now, New Enhancer, to take a second card if need be. Okay? So, but um, hopefully we'll never get there, but we do have the built in ability to put two cards in if we need to. You can yeah. get 102 responses on a 19 inch card. So you'd have to have um, more contests than that to have to go to a second card. Or if you had like a vote for 30 or something, that's going to obviously hurt us. No, that doesn't hurt. Oh, that is? It's just your. Okay. And that's thermal printing, you don't need ink card? Right, that's another, thank you. Mark, yeah, so, <laughs> we're, yeah, we're now your darn automark, you know, no one really uses this, and that darn HP, you know, ink cartridge dries out, right, and they're not cheap. Well, this is 100% thermal, so you don't have to worry about replacing that ink cartridge or print ribbon, anything such as that, 100% thermal, so nice upgrade there. Or ink cartridge freezing on a lovely day like this, right? So, um, so in order to get this cast, this is not cast, right? This comes over to the DS200. Here again, and, and you know, there's a nice visual on screen where you know, the full page ballot goes underneath the shroud. The express boat card goes into the little cutout up on top. Doesn't matter how they insert it. It'll take any of the four orientations. The nice thing is, once it sees a card, it's going to take that card every time, right? Because it's not going to allow an overvote. It won't, you know. So there, there can't be any issue with the card to say, hey, I have an issue. You know, here's the issue with it because it uh, won't allow an overvote or anything such as that. And uh, any undervote is all taken care of over here. Okay. Um, one thing I didn't do, what was on here, was a write-in. And you know what? I'm going to. Jump over. The only difference between these units and this unit is the kiosk itself, really. All right. So this is just an option. We wanted to show it. Um, you know, all the counties that are currently using it. I should mention uh, the counties that are currently on this technology here in Ohio with the DS200 and the Express Vote for ADA are Tuscarawas, Knox, and Portage. All right, those are the three counties that are currently on it. Uh, obviously, we have uh, in the works with uh, several others moving to that. Um, and then some are looking at hybrid, meaning all voters vote on the express vote, and then just using the DS200 for tabulation as well. So, um, but we talked about having to have the poll worker select the ballot style. Depending on the scenario and um, you know, and all the counties that are using for ADA, that's, that's what they're all doing currently. Um, but you do have the ability to, and this can be done either in the kiosk, there's a little barcode scanner here, and there's actually a barcode scanner that can um, hook up via USB to the tabletop model, all right? And this is actually a barcode from the TEDx poll book. Okay, I got to print it off. So, in this scenario, if you so choose, if you wanted to, you could um, have the voter or what have you, if you wanted to give this to the voter or have the poll worker actually scan this either way. It, you know, it's scanned it, it says, hey, this precinct's, is that what you're going to do? Go ahead and activate it. Okay, so that is a scenario as well. And the reason we brought that up, a couple of things. Potentially, you know, we're going to talk about this afternoon about Balatar and what that can help you for early voting uh, or your in person voting. You know, being able to print on demand instead of having to have all your darn ballots back behind you. And, uh, you know, how many ballot styles does Coyote County have? A boatload, depending on the primary, it could be thousands, right? So, um, 
We thought at a minimum we wanted to show this as a potential option, potentially as well for uh, in person. Um, so that being said, now same scenario. Um, oh, Jed wanted me to hit on the right in here. So uh, right in, obviously they can uh, just type in. The right in, obviously if they were blind, they would just navigate through using the up and down arrow to get through the uh, let, you know, the lettering, it just walks them through the down arrows, A, B, C, D, so it just walks them in, the select button actually marks that selection for them, okay? That prints on there. Blank, okay. And there again, as I mentioned, all it's doing is marking that card, okay? I uh, should mention while it's printing, you know, the audio jack for the headphones go right in front. There's also a two-way switch. So if they have a quadriplegic or a sip and puff device or a rocker panel, uh, it does have all the, uh, it's all been certified with that uh, as well, okay? Uh, the write-in, for those of you who can see it, it does kind of uh, put a little arrow to say, hey, I do have a write-in on this ballot, so you never have to kind of visually or try to navigate through the cards looking for it. Granted, the software is going to take care of it on the back end, but it does kind of, uh, it does put a little arrow out there to show that a write-in has been selected. Okay. Here again, you get it tabulated. Gets fed through the DS200. Drops it in. Public count goes up. The other nice thing with this scenario, you know, I know you guys do ballot resolution, how many ballots your PEOs have given out, all that. Obviously, we do have a public count up here, but there's a little magnifying glass here. It does break down how many full face ballots versus how many cards it's giving, and then gives a total. Okay, so it says, hey, we have 500 DS200 ballots, <coughs> we have two Express Bill cards, total of seven. Um, I'm 95% yes. sure, but that's, when it prints, is it? Yes. Yes. Break down prints on the tape. Yeah. Even though there's no stub? I'm sorry? Even though there's no stub, the accounting at the end of the day? It will still account, yes, yeah, so the machines will still all account for it. Depending on how you guys do it, either you have a stub or a lot of counties will send out packs of like, 25 or 10 even, 20, whatever the case may be, and you say, okay, well, it says we have two, well, I have eight left in my pack if I don't have a stack. Okay, so a couple ways to handle it. Yes, ma'am? The ADA can also be programmed bilingual. I'm sorry? Also programmed bilingual. With yes, yes, yeah, bilingual uh, was a question. Yeah, we can do Spanish, well, we can do, I think, up to 12 languages now, but obviously here in Cuyahoga, Spanish. Yes, sir? What about calibration of the screen? Okay. Uh, calibration, the nice thing is, touch screens have come a long way in the last, you know, 10, 12 years. So, um, these have been demo units that was driven over from, you know, Nebraska here, uh, in the back of a van, been bounced all over. We didn't calibrate any of them. They tend to hold extremely well. If you do need to calibrate it, it's just a switch on the side. I guess I can show you that. Uh, we're in voter mode. There is an official mode on here. If you ever do need to calibrate the screen, it just says calibrate touch screen. <laughs> it says, hey, you selected to do that. Is that what you want to do? All right. And you just hit start. And it's only just a couple. I think it's like, it's very few touches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So those are basically the touches to uh, recalibrate it. Okay. It says uh, calibrated screen successfully completed. You want to redo it or you want to exit? Hit exit. We're good. Go back to voter mode. So that's if you do need to recalibrate it, but like I said, it holds the calibration extremely well. But if it does get out of whack, it's pretty pretty simple to go ahead and calibrate the screen. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Um, concerning transportation, the case looks like it's fabric. Um, I've seen at locations things get slammed around on the cart and so forth. How durable is that screen 
and how durable is that a hard fabric of this case? So we've had pretty good luck with it. Um, I don't know if Jeff can speak to anything in other uh, jurisdictions. He obviously, I, I obviously focus here in Ohio mainly. But um, yeah, we've had very good luck with that. Uh, and let's, you know, it does have to um, survive kind of a, a drop test at the EAC and stuff with that. They drop it in that bag. In the bag, so. Yeah. So the functions are basically the same. I'm sorry? Is the functions like basically the same? Like, you know, they have system maintenance in there and all yep. that. Yep. It's, it's, very, it's very similar. What we try to do with the express boat is take the best. What we try to do with the express boat is take the best of the Automark, which I think the ADA uh, community loves the way the Automark function and its, and its keypad and its interfaces, right? So those are all the same. Uh, the menus um, for maintenance and so forth are very much the same for you folks in the, for the office. Um, what people didn't like about the Automark was the weight, um, the slowness at which it prints a ballot, and then also the expense of the ink cartridge. We've gotten rid of all three of the dislikes that people typically had, and um, we've made it much more like a DRE, but it's better than a DRE because at the end of the day, still all the totals are inside the scanner. So at each location, you still have the only the one total state to worry about, the one piece of media to download back and watch, et cetera. So kept all the great things, uh, but we got rid of the, the things that people didn't like.